Welcome to Match of the Day. We hope you're doing OK. Um, if the day's got a wine it, there must be some Premier League football to enjoy. We have five matches from the last two nights and two pundits to pour over it all. Micah Richards and Leon Osman. Way at Burnley, we know it's a difficult game. We know it's going to be a battle. And it was. And uh, the performance of the team was was great. The mental, the, the mental part was great as well and that's how we got the result. I think we've been growing into our season. We're getting players back fit. Uh, performances and results have improved. Um, so, so a lot to be, I think, pleased with over that. But of course, you, don't, you inevitably don't get anything from the game. First half an hour, uh, not great. I think we needed some time to get going. Then the controversy of the red card, foul, I think that sparked us a bit into life. But I felt we um, were too hot-headed at times, especially, you know, Harry's goal is a perfectly good goal. Should never been taken away from him. That's a mistake. That's, we, we have to be that honest. You're a year virtually unbeaten on the road now. Can you feel real momentum, confidence? Yeah, we feel very confident going into games. Away from home, we've really done well. and. Uh, but also, uh, we're getting more, better and better at home. Uh, our form should give us confidence to go into the next game uh, uh, with, with belief. And that next game is, of course, a bit of a whopper um, at the weekend, taking on Liverpool at Anfield. Really important win for Manchester United to take them to the top of the table for the first time in a long time. And you want to look at the man who scored that all-important winner. Yeah, I do, definitely. Um, I didn't think that Manchester United as a whole were, were at their their best in the first half an hour but what they did show was great character uh, great desire to win the game meet the challenge that Burnley put ahead of them and no more so than, than Paul Pogba you look at touches passes he was he was magnificent but the impressive thing for me was his clearances his duels uh, total duels his duels won mm. he, he was head and shoulders above everyone in that game and uh, he's been heavily criticised during his Manchester United career but he was clearly up for the challenge um, in this game last night he he dominated the midfield, he brought the ball down when he had to, he challenged, he won duels, he laid it off, he got into the penalty area knowing that he'd going to have to meet a, a challenge. And uh, that physical side just showed Manchester United, he led Manchester United in that first half before they then dominated in the second. Yeah, but look at his passing, that's what I like to, his heads up, first time pass. That's why you, you pay the big bucks for him, because he can play them passes through the lines. He can create opportunities for his strikers running in behind as well. And like you said, he were the first half, he won his head. Second half, get off me there. Look how strong his power. This is a player who's got absolutely everything. When people was giving him stick, I was the one always one protected him because of his ability. And, you know, when he wins a header here, don't, don't stand and admire it. Let's, let's get in the box. Let's time the run. The ball comes in, you see he's got his hand up there. Great technique to keep it down. All right, he gets a little bit of a look because it comes off Loughton and goes through Pope's legs. But Pogba is an incredible player. Mm. I've played against him numerous occasions. When he was at Juventus, he was incredible. So some of the treatment I see him getting over here now, I don't like to see it because he's a world-class player, no doubt about it. Uh, there were a few contentious decisions in the game. Um, let's have a look at the Luke Shaw yellow card. Potentially could have been a red card, according to some people, because uh, this obviously wiped out the Robbie Brady incident um, from a Burnley perspective uh, while the referee was looking at this. Should it have been a red card, this one? Um, well, it was borderline. Uh, you know what? When you're in the stadium, because they're empty stadiums at the moment, you heard the contact from the back of the stand. So... You knew there was uh, a lot of physical contact in it. I think that a lot of people will feel that's a red card. My personal opinion is it's just about a yellow. I think he wins the ball. There's certainly contact. He just, get, he just gets the ball. I think ye yellow cards I is fair. Well, the Premier League actually said they feel it was not enough excessive force and the point of contact, they say, was low enough. But they do say it was close to what you said, being yeah, borderline. they can't take away everything. Else. We, we want to see the challenges. This is what, this is what football's about. They've got VAR. We want to see the, the tough challenges. I don't think that was too reckless. I don't think it was a red card. Yellow card, right decision. I think Peter Crouch probably agrees with you because he was unhappy with the disallowed goal uh, for Harry Maguire. This is the tweet that he put up. Did you see this? He said, not sure I'd have had many goals left if Maguire's was no goal. <laughs> <laughs> did you feel that this was harsh to disallow this? Yeah, I, I certainly did. I felt that it was, first of all, it's a wonderful ball to the back post. Great header as well, isn't He's it? got his eyes on the ball, centre half, getting above defenders, meeting the ball. Terrific header. And most of the contact, I think, happens after he's headed the ball. He probably then just leans in with his arm a bit, but 
as you said, if you're, if you're disallowing goals like that, we're, we're not going to see many headed goalers in the Premier League anymore. Nothing wrong with that, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet, thank you for that. Uh, Wolves against Everton is uh, next for you, a fixture which has averaged four goals a game since the home side returned to the Premier League. John Rode was hoping for more of the same at Molyneux, despite both teams missing their leading strikers. Wolves